Hello everybody. So I made a video a couple weeks ago. So I thought I'd just update you guys and tell you how the ball was. Um, I had a lot of fun. I wore my obnoxious pink dress and had a blast. And I'm like looking over here because my monitor broke so I can't really see the screen. So I have to look over at my computer where I hooked it up. Long story. So. Um, so I brought my friend Rachel, who I've been really good friends with for about five years, and we were hoping that, well, she was the date for Nate's roommate, so we were hoping that we were going to get him laid, but we failed to do so. <laughs> Sounds bitchy, but I love her to death. So, um, the ball was fun. We went with, like, two other couples. Um, we got a hotel room, so we all had room to get ready and stuff, and of course the boys are just like, oh, we're going to go smoke cigars and <laughs> take a couple shots before we go. And then at like 5 o'clock they're like, oh my god, we need to go. We're going to be late. We're going to be late. Of course we weren't actually late. So they rush us and they were like, we don't have time for pictures. So I was pissed because we stayed at this really nice hotel that had a really pretty staircase and it was very like Cinderella-esque. Like, like like the staircase and like that and like leaped around. I don't know, it was really pretty. So I wanted more pictures on it, but they took like two and then they're like, we have to go. So we get there. And then the ceremony started like, you know, of course an hour and a half late, like usual. And then during the entire ceremony, I had to pee so bad. I was in like pain, I was like hanging over and I was like, man, I'm gonna pee in my pants. I can't sit through this anymore. And it was like a 40 minute ceremony, but I made it. And the second they opened the doors for people to go to the bathroom, I was like, Whoop! and I went and I beat the, the traffic of girls, which was good. But um, yeah, it was fun. And um, if you guys are worried about your dress for the ball, if you haven't gone, I know some of the girls um, that are going flying over to Japan haven't gone to their ball yet. It's like this coming weekend or maybe next weekend. I don't really know. But um, if you're worried about it, don't be, I mean, you're, if you're a Marine Corps girlfriend and you're making videos, it means you kind of know what's up and it means you have common sense because I can't tell you, like short dresses are fine, but there were so many slutty girls there wearing dresses that were literally so short that I was like, girl, if you bend over, I'm going to see your vagina and nobody wants to. Okay. So this needs to stop. Like so many girls were... I don't know where these men find them. Like, are they just dates? Or are they paid prostitutes? And I'm being honest, like, I don't know where they come from. I live in Southern California. I see sluts all the time. But not like that. Not like that. So that was interesting. We had fun making fun of them. And uh, then we went out to the bars afterward, which is really fun. And then on Veterans Day on... Um, Thursday, we went whale washing. It was super fun. Um, and it was really cool because we saw dolphins. We didn't see any whales, which kind of sucks, but dolphins are so cute. And they were like jumping and swimming and like spinning underneath the water, like right in front of the boat for us to see. And it was so cool. I had a lot of fun with that. And that was pretty much my weekend, my Marine Corps weekend. But uh, it was fun. Nate got a 96. So I was super excited. Well, actually, probably more than that, because they didn't work very long on the actual day of the ball. So it was really fun to see him for an extended period of time. And I am going to Vegas on Friday. We're going with um, our good friends from Minnesota, so that should be really fun to see them again. I'm excited. I've never been to Vegas, so I think it'll be a great time. And on Friday, I get to see my girl, Sarah Myers. She is flying into an airport really close to my school, so I'm going to go pick her up. And we're going to go out to lunch, and I'm going to take her um, closer to where her boyfriend Anthony is stationed. And then they get to go to their ball that weekend, and then I get to see her. Um, she's going to spend the night Sunday, and then fly back Monday morning. So I'm so excited to see her. It's going to be so much fun. It's just, it's weird to think about how many girls that I actually know and I trust and truly view as friends. Um, it, it's weird that like, even though we all have, you know, something in common, but yet our relationships are completely different. Yes, we have similarities and stuff, but I mean, 
Nate is probably nothing like Anthony, yet Sarah and I get, get along perfectly. And we see similarities in the boys, even if they aren't alike. So, that's cool. I've realized I need to go through my Facebook and delete the girls that are, like, really obnoxious. Like, just because they're more friends of the Marine Corps and mine is, too, does not make us twins. I don't want to know what you're going through necessarily, and you don't want to know what I'm going through necessarily. And for a while, <laughs> like last year when I didn't live near Nate, which I mean, I know I'm completely blessed because I've lived on, you know, halfway across the country and flying every once every four months to go see him or so. Like it's, it's hard. It's the whole long distance thing. So I know both sides of it. And now I live two hours away from him and I get to see him, you know, every other weekend or so. And I know I'm blessed to have that. So I'm never, I'm never one to be complaining about how I miss him because that doesn't make sense because it's only been like a week, you know? So it, I know that I'm blessed and it's just hard for me to see these girls on Facebook or on YouTube being like, my husband has to work late tonight and just, ugh, my life sucks. No, you're lucky to have him and you're lucky to have him where you are and it's just really frustrating for me. So. I don't know if you guys think the same way, or if you guys are those girls on Facebook that complain about their boyfriends. If so, you probably think I'm a giant bitch and I'm over it. Feel free to delete me. Um, but I just feel like I need to kind of clean that up and just talk to the talk to the girls that I actually know, I like, um, and I can relate to because it's really getting obnoxious. So, you know, food for thought. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys feel the same way, or if you just like keeping updated with all of the Marine Corps girlfriends, or if you only look at a couple of them, either on Facebook or on YouTube, it's just interesting to me. So, um, love you girls. You know who I'm talking about. And little Miss Sarah, I will see you in like a day. I'm so excited to see you. So, I will talk to you guys later, and I'll make a video in the next couple weeks too. So, see you guys.